What's up guys, my name is Dale, fitness and bodywork specialist out here in Newport Beach. I'm here with my bikini athlete, uh, Ivana. Hi. And we're gonna do a couple of things for her because she is complaining about knee pain mm -hmm. and tension headaches from her day job. So what we're gonna do is gonna be working on her quads to uh, help the knee pain and then her traps to figure out her, what's going on with her headaches. <laughs> for everyone watching at home, knee pain, typically comes from a tight center quad. So I'm going to go ahead and work on her quads right now. So you wanna to move to the, move close to me, off and then leg off the table. We're just gonna go through some blading techniques to go to make sure that the quads are nice and loose for you. And then on a scale of one to 10, how annoying is the knee pain? I want to say when I'm laying down and I'm not doing anything, I still feel it. It's around a three or a four-ish. Um, but when I'm doing cardio or I'm at the ah. gym, then it does go up to about an eight. Gotcha. So you just competed in your first national show? Yes. How was that experience? It was absolutely amazing. Um, I did not expect to do a national show so early into my very new bodybuilding career. And I'm honestly just grateful that I was able to have that experience. Huh. So yeah, it's, it was amazing. What is the feedback that you got? Did you get feedback already? Not yet. Um, I unfortunately was unable to get with Sandy or meet with Sandy in person. It was very hectic at the show because everyone was getting feedback right then and oh, there. Yeah. So I'm still waiting for her to email me back. I don't know, your conditioning was insane actually. I hope uh, Davian, if you can pull a picture of her, I'll send yeah. it to you. She looked crazy. Yeah, I, I couldn't even believe it. I did not expect to look like that, but <laughs> thank you, coach. Yeah, shout out Mikey. <laughs> okay, what was the first thing that you ate right after? Okay, so actually, um, I got burger and fries in between pre-judging pre oh, and wow. finals. So really that was trying to fill you up. Yeah, but it was actually a burger and a half that I had. One and a half burgers? One and a half burgers. We do an in and wait, in and out Do they have in and out out there? They actually do. Where we were, they do have an in and out but um, there's this local place called, um, um, I'm blanking right now, but it was absolutely delicious. They have um, like different gourmet style burgers and I kind of wish they had one out here. It was so good. Gourmet oh, burgers. Did we go slow carbs or fast carbs? Um, we did fast carbs. Yeah. So white potato rice. Uh, rice. So we did rice, but it was so interesting because when we started, so we front loaded carbs, mm -hmm. and when we started uh, eating on day one of my carb up, I started. I started filling out, I started gaining weight, and then morning of the show, I, dro I dropped back down. Oh, really? So it was so fascinating to see how my body just, um, just how important sleep is too, because yes. I slept really well the night before, and then my body just absorbed it all, and then said, okay, let's, let's give you a burger <laughs> instead. Hell yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was my first, my first meal, but post-show it was pizza and wings. So it was pretty good. Wings. It was pretty good. <laughs> so what are you doing now post-show? So living? I am, yeah, I'm, I'm living. Um, I'm reversing just because I did not reverse last year. Uh -huh. um, so I'm taking it super seriously right now. Good. And so far, so good. Don't no get complaints. fat, right? Yeah, I'm trying not to. <laughs> um, I mean, you still look great. Thank you. Thank you. Just two pounds over stage weight so That's far. It? Yeah. What? Yeah. So it's Oh, you're ready for February. Cool. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for a break, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to do, let's do a cup drag today. All right, let me know if this is horrible. Okay. But you have not, you have yet to complain about anything. I have no complaints. You are fixing my ouchies. <laughs> is there a way we can get like an ASMR of this bumpiness? <laughs> the 
That sounds really cool. <laughs> what does it feel like for everyone watching? Um, there is a bit of pressure, but it, does it hurt? feels, no, it's more of a release. Uh -huh. So basically everyone watching, um, the cups are like negative pressure pulling up on the fascia layer. So combined with the blades, you get this push pull effect um, on her muscles and fascia. So the, the mobility lasts longer than just one of the modalities. So I hope, your IT band's actually tight. So I hope the knee pain follows and stays off for a long time. Sorry, I hit your knee. No, you're good. You're chilling. Oh, when you're in good hands. <laughs> okay, let's do Star Guy. Star Guy. The Star. I just thought of Patrick the Star. Oh my God. Will you understand all the SpongeBob references I know? <laughs> okay, so let's do let's do a leg drag. So basically, we're gonna lengthen the quad and then all the way up. Good. You can move to the center so you have a little bit more space. Okay. Because we're after this, we're gonna do the hip thrust thing. So let's just do seven of these, that was one. So lengthening and then shortening, I'm gonna give you some overpressure at the top. And then you should feel that stretch on the quad, yes? Yes, I did. Three, good. Four. Five, two more. Six, and so question for you, what's, what's the purpose of doing dynamic stretches while cupping? Ah, very, very good question. So when we introduce movement to the muscle, you're actively stretching. So let me back up. When I put the cups on, I'm shortening the muscle because mm -hmm. you have this negative pressure shortening the muscle. Mm -hmm. And then when you shorten the, the, in this example, your quad, every time you bend your leg, you are lengthening your quad oh my god let me think about that yeah 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 <laughs> yes because every time you contract your quad you're straightening out your leg mm -hmm. and so when we take it through movement you have this you're forcing the leg or forcing the quad to lengthen and shorten okay. on its own so that actually is a good segue to the next thing because i'm going to have you hip thrust or glute bridge Perfect. um it looks weird but for sure it because we're getting this hip extension, mm -hmm. it's stretching out the quad specifically more on the high part of your quad. Mm -hmm. So let's get into that glute bridge position. And then you've done this with me before. So yes. let's do uh, 10 hip thrusts as far as you can go with the hips. And then you should feel more of the top quad um, stretch out. Yes, I do. And take your time with that stretch at the top. Two, good. So again, hip extension is lengthening the quad, specifically the top part. And to address her knee pain, we're focusing on lengthening her quads. I don't know what number that is, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is six or seven. Six. <laughs> Squeeze, seven. Eight. Nine, last one, and then keep your knee bent for me. 10, straighten out. And just keep this bent for me. I'm gonna let that chill right there. I'm just gonna blade around your knee. All the crunchies. Okay, after doing 
how many shows have you done? Four now? I've done uh, one, two, three this four. year. Four. Yeah, four, four shows. Any advice to anyone thinking about doing a bikini show? Or I guess bodybuilding in general? So most importantly, um, do your due, dil due diligence. Um, talk to other athletes, see why they chose their coach. Talk to a variety of coaches um, and see what works best for you. So that's my advice for choosing a coach. Um, for those who want to start competing or start prep, um, I would most definitely recommend making sure that any outside factors won't get in the way because yeah. it could potentially prolong your prep. Um, and then the longer you're on prep, it's so prep in general is, is a giant stress on your body, but also for mentally, emotionally. So make sure that you have a really good support system and any outside factors won't get in the way. So that's actually really good advice. Thank you. <laughs> because a lot of people kind of, what is that phrase? Take too big of a bite that yeah. It's, it's a really like big athletes, mental change. Exactly, like athletes who want to start prep while they're still in school yeah. um, or they already have trips planned, I would recommend at least giving yourself a six months of time where you know for a fact you don't have anything planned or um, just in general, you're, you know you can put a lot of time and focus into it because you don't know how your body's gonna respond. So it's better to give yourself mm -hmm. extra time rather than not enough. That's actually really good advice. Thanks. <laughs> okay, I'm just testing your hips just to be a little bit more thorough. Um, let's go ahead and stand and feel out that knee and quad just to see if there's any improvements. Yeah, drastically. Awesome. Yeah, perfect.